What's up guys, how you all doing? So it's a little bit late to start the vlog today. It's actually lunchtime. Uh, I was so busy this morning with uh, phone calls and all different kinds of bits and pieces, I just didn't have a chance. But for lunch, Jade and I have popped out and I'm using Jade's phone because my battery just impromptuly ran out because I forgot to charge it last night. So uh, the sound and video quality may not be as good as normal because Jade's got an iPhone 5 and obviously I'm on the 5S. But let me just show you where I am. <laughs> It may look like I'm just about to drop off the end of the world, <laughs> but this is a pretty cool uh, view going on behind me. This is uh, in a place called Folkestone in Kent, so and it looks absolutely stunning. I've got to say, let me uh, turn, just get my ugly head out of the way and show you. How cool is that? It looks like I'm just about to drop off the edge of the world or I'm standing on top of it. But either way, now I've got to work out somehow of how to get this video from Jade's uh, phone onto my phone. I guess I'll have to transfer it via iTunes or something like that. But I'll just spin the uh, camera around so you can use the rear facing camera so you get a better actual uh, quality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? So I'm back. In fact, I've been back for hours and hours and hours, but I've just had no time to, at all today to do much vlogging. So all I had was the bit you saw earlier on Jade's phone, and I don't know how much better or worse that will, or sorry, how much worse that will be than your iPhone 5S. I'll be interested to see how that comes out. Uh, where I've been with the roof down, my uh, white goggles on my face from wearing my sunglasses are becoming more apparent. Anyway, tomorrow I'm off on holiday or vacation. Americans call it vacation, English call it holiday. I'm not quite sure which I prefer. I guess holiday sounds more attractive, I think. I'm not sure. Who cares anyway, it's all bullshit. So, tomorrow I've got to make a huge, huge journey over to the um, other side of France, basically. And in fact, I've got a map up here on the screen, so I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. I also got a whole bunch of stuff either that arrived today through the post or that I went out and purchased as well. Some of it may not be so interesting, but I'm going to show you either way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you the screen so I can show you my journey that I've got to start to undertake tomorrow morning. So here we go, guys. This is uh, the just the Apple uh, Maps program. So this is where I am, obviously, here in the southeast of England. And in fact, I'll just show you a picture of this. So this is the bottom of England. It obviously goes up further than that. But this is where this is where I live, right down here in the southeast. Here we have the English uh, French Channel, or the English Channel, I think it's called. Yeah, the English Channel. And that is about, I'm not quite sure actually, it's several miles. I'm not quite sure exactly how many. I think maybe 20, 30 miles, something like that. And this here is the location that I've got to end up going to in the Champagne region of France. So anyone who is French will obviously probably know some of these areas, these bigger areas around. And that there is the border, first of all up there with Belgium. Luxembourg is there, and then we've also got the border to Germany. So it's quite close to uh, Strasbourg just over here, and then you can obviously go further uh, down into Germany, Stuttgart for example as well if you want to. So you can see there as well, six hours, 48 minutes from all the way up there to all the way down there. I can't remember how many miles it was. Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can just see if it says how many miles it is. Uh, 365 miles. But basically what's going to happen is I'm going to drive from here to about here, which is called Folkestone. In fact, where, where you saw me earlier in the video on Jade's phone. And then we get on a train which goes under the ocean. You drive the car onto the train under the ocean all the way across here. And that comes out in Calais, just here in France. And then the drive from there all the way down to here is about five hours. So the, the, the actual French drive is about five hours. 
I'm not quite sure exactly how many miles it will be. So that is my journey tomorrow. I will vlog the entire thing. And in fact, I'll come back to that actually at the end of the video. But either way, that is my journey tomorrow. So I just thought I would tell you that bit of maybe useless information. So first up on the items that I either bought or arrived through the post today, I won't differentiate between them, but first up, we've got these frames here. Now I actually got four of these frames. And if you remember the other day, I showed you those posters that I've got and I said I was gonna get some frames for them. These were really, really cheap from an excellent shop called The Range, uh, which you guys can check out. I think they're about 10 pounds each or eight pounds or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, but they're just normal sort of black wooden photo frames or poster frames, sorry. They're quite big, as you can see next to the Mac Pro. But my posters fit absolutely perfectly. And in fact, if I just swivel around to here, you will be able to see there is my Breaking Bad one in the frame. And now it's in the frame. Don't you think that looks excellent? I haven't had time to centre it or anything correctly yet. I just chucked it in to see how it would look. In fact, let me just get rid of that reflection quickly so you can see it a bit better so there you go how cool does that look and then I've got to put all of the other ones in there uh, in their appropriate frame as well so that's going to come out quite good and in fact you can see some of the others underneath there the little alien uh, versus predator ones just underneath there so I'm going to put all of those in frames I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put them yet but we will have to wait and see anyway let's swivel back around this side on the table there you can also see that not only has someone messed my pillows up in my chair, which really irritates me, but I also got this. This is for George for the journey to France because it's going to be obviously a long drive. So I've got him some sweets. I made this myself out of the Millions vending machine. These are called Millions. They're just little kind of chewy bits of candy. So that's for George. Then also I treated myself to a new item of clothing, which is this. It's from uh, Super Dry, and it is, I can't see if what you can see. Uh, it's uh, just a hoodie, so just a, a Super Dry hoodie. Really great material uh, and quality from Super Dry. So yeah, that's just another little sort of thing I got myself <laughs> there. Just a little sort of clothing treat. Not quite sure how you can see that, or how that's coming out. There you go, maybe that's better. But there you go, so that's another thing that I got. Now next up, let's swivel around again. O-Tone Audio, who are a fantastic audio company, and they're English as well, so I like to support them as much as possible. They have recently brought out this, which is called the Soundship Micro, and this is just a little docking station for Android. In fact, they were meant to send me the iPhone version, but it looks like they've sent me the Android one, and it's just a portable, black battery-powered Bluetooth speaker stroke docking station. But O-Tone really do put a lot of effort into good audio quality and I like that. So that is the first thing from O-Tone. Next up from O-Tone. Sorry, I accidentally pressed the stop button there. Next up from O-Tone, they also had this shipped over to me today. This is their brand spanking new set of noise reducing bass boosting headphones. Now I saw these at Gadget Show Live and they sounded phenomenal. So I asked Gareth, the main man over there, to send me a set over. I believe these are probably samples. They're probably pre-production samples. But how nice do they look? Very, very comfortable. Love the kind of carbon fiber-ish look on the front. Really nice sort of black rubbery material here. And also around this side, you can see you've got the batteries there. We've also got this section here. And in here, what we can do is we can either set for the noise cancellation or for what they call VTX, bass boost. And this really does bass, uh, boost the bass. Oh, boost the bass, this is a lot of a bit of a mouthful here. But yeah, these absolutely fantastic. I believe they've just gone available for pre-order so you can pick these up for 150 pounds, which is an absolutely fantastic price for these particular headphones. I've, I've listened to them myself and they do sound fantastic. And I wanted to take them away with me so I can just spend some more time listening to them. A lot of adjustment, very nice padding, really comfortable, nice materials, good weight. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how they get on over a longer period of time. But that is another thing that came in today. Now, this is probably going to be very, very boring for most of you. 
but I'm going to show you anyway. I also picked up this, which is just a little canvas uh, picture, and I really like it because I've got this sort of thing with pictures having just colours of red and black and white. So I really like this. Uh, it goes extremely well with a whole bunch of other canvases and paintings I've got around the house. I think it looks just, I just like the image for some reason. And this was an absolute bargain, £10 at the range. Can you believe that? Uh, some of you may obviously hate it. I absolutely love it. So I bought it and I'm going to chuck that up in the house. So that is my little bit of uh, home decorating <laughs> from the shopping today. And another thing that I've been, I think I actually might have showed you this at the time, but I'm going to show you it again. This little thing here, just there, is called Home Monitor HD. Now, as you guys know, I use the Foscam uh, surveillance cameras in collaboration with the Synology box. This thing is completely isolated. It is connected up to the internet, records to the cloud. You get two weeks of free recording. There's an app for it. It's all very, very easy. There's no worrying about recording to NAS or anything like that. So I'm trying that out at the moment, and that is my CCTV camera in my office at the moment, or an additional one. So that is that. Uh, my jumper, the frames, the picture, um, the stuff from O-Tone over here, the poster that is now in the frame, which I think now looks absolutely quality, especially when I get it properly centred. Anyway, let me switch the camera around, and I'll be back with you in a second. And there we go. Back again with my beautiful face that is looking rather tanned, I must say. Anyway, the thing I was going to go, that I said earlier, I'm going to come back to you about was the vlogging over the next few days. Now, obviously, not only am I going on holiday, and I do always vlog when I'm on holiday. If you go back through my vlogs, the last holiday was great because I vlogged for several days. Uh, you got to see all my journey from um, Florida, uh, all the way through, sorry, Orlando, Miami, up into the Keys. That was a great vlog. So if you haven't seen that series, check it out. I think I created a playlist for it. I think I did one in Mauritius. I've done journeys all over the world and vlogged it. Battery's running out again. Um, and this time I'm going to do the same, but there is a big issue with this one, and that is that I don't know if I'm going to have any decent internet connectivity whilst I'm over there in France. So, very, very important that you guys know that if I don't upload a video every day, what I'm going to have to do is kind of bring them all together at the end, collate them all together, and do like a longer one when I get back, because I just may not have the internet connectivity to be able to upload it. I will try to upload, uh, but I may not be able to, so please do bear that in mind. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. I am off on my travels tomorrow. I've got to go pick George up uh, in the next couple of hours. Jade's gone to take the dog to the people who look after the dog. Uh, we've got someone coming to stay here to look after the cat, and a whole bunch of stuff to do this evening, so I need to crack on. Leaving at the crack of dawn as well, about seven o'clock, our train from Folkestone to Calais is at 8.20. So that is it from me today. And I will obviously be back with you just as soon as I can. Please do bear in mind, like I said, I may not be able to upload vlogs from where I am. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, have a great one. Please do be safe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.